Hello fellow time travelers, it's James here. I'm just in the Walker Lawn here at Michigan Tech University enjoying the really nice fall weather we've been having. The colors are just starting to change. It's really a great time to get out and explore the, the great environment we have here in the Keweenaw. When I do that, I often think about what this place must have been like for people here 50, 75, 100 years ago. And of course, when I do that, you gotta go back home, open up the q and Time Traveler app on your computer, and look at all those old historic maps we have. And then you gotta, of course, find out where you actually were on your walks. And sometimes that can be difficult for me. And thankfully, the uh, q and Time Traveler team has been working really hard over the last four months to make that no longer necessary. We actually have a beautiful mobile app now that I can take with me on these walks. All you have to do is open up your web browser on your phone, go to qnahistory.com, click on enter the map or explore the map, and it'll take you to this beautiful new storytelling mobile app we have right here. Uh, as you enter the map, you can see the, uh, the story points that community members have shared with us are already populated here to help you explore. And if you click on the lower right hand corner, there's this uh, geolocating uh, point that pops up and brings you right to where you are within the landscape. And you can see I'm right here in the Walker Lawn, which is pretty neat. I can see the stories around me. And if I'm wondering what this place looked like in the past, which I definitely am, you can uh, take a look by clicking on those, uh, the map button in the lower middle part of the, your screen, and you can see all the maps that, uh, that are located in your area. And I got to check out one of the new maps we have, uh, the 1938 aerial imagery. And I'm pulling that up right now, and it looks like where I'm standing is the middle of a road in 1938, which is pretty amazing. Behind me where the Walker building was, there's two buildings sitting there, it looks like, and then a field right behind that. And then off in that direction, down the middle of campus today, it looks like the road continues which is kind of an odd thing to think about. So to figure out exactly what's going on here, I'm gonna go back to the maps here and take a look. We've got a new 1955 campus map that I can take a look at. And sure enough, yep, I'm right here in the middle of College Avenue. Huh. So this is 41 in, uh, in 1955. I'm standing right in the middle of a highway here. And uh, the buildings that I was looking at, it looks like they were the Sherman Gymnasium in 1955. So the gym was back there. And the field I was looking at was the football field. That's pretty cool. So as I use the, uh, uh, the opacity slider here at the top, I can see that the rose and the, uh, the parking lot we have back there, that used to be the football field. So I can imagine what Saturday afternoons I could be out here uh, and we could be hearing the crowd noise from the... Uh, from the football game going on behind me. It's pretty amazing. You know, if, uh, if maps like this inspire memories or thoughts that you have, you can always use the share a story button here on the lower right hand side. You can share the story at your current location or from a different location on the map. Uh, looks like we have the ability here to take a picture, record audio, record video, anything you want to add to your stories as, uh, as you go through. You can tell the story however you want, which is pretty exciting. Uh, if this isn't enough, what's really wonderful too as you explore is the stories that other community members and team members have shared are here on the landscape as well. Sitting right next to me is a story point that I'm going to click on and it's all about the development of the park that I'm standing in. It, it looks like it was done by uh, social science students last year. Uh, it looks like too, not only along with these great pictures including pictures of the football field and the other parts of the uh, the landscape that I'm standing in. They also have, uh, hey, cool, it's a, a story map all about the park and how it was created. And uh, boy, it's I think something that everybody here would like to go through and take a look at. So I'll leave you with that. Uh, for me, I'm just gonna go out and enjoy the rest of the day with, here with my family. I hope everybody here has a great afternoon. I hope you get the chance to get out and enjoy the colors, bring along our Ket mobile app, and enjoy the day. That's it for me. Thanks, everybody.